Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Group Policy and Policy Pack to get out of the local admin rights business. So the question I get from time to time is, well, I really want to do least privilege, and I get the general gist of what the Policy Pack Least Privilege Manager product does, but how do I actually get to the promised land of no local admin rights? Like, how do I do that? So let me set the stage. So a person can be a, an admin on your box for, for a couple of different reasons. Let me get rid of all this junk here. <laughs> the first reason is that, and I've seen this at a lot of companies, that I, I'm not making this up, and this could be your company. If you look in, say, the domain admins group and look at members, you can have people here who are currently domain admins who shouldn't be domain admins. And then if you look at who's got access rights on the computer, well, we all know that if you go to computer management and take a look at local users and groups and groups here and look at administrators, well, who's a member of the local administrators group? Well, the, the domain admins are, okay? So right there, you can get access that way. So all these bajillions of domain admins can have access on your local box because of that. You might also be in this situation where you have maybe a ghost factory in the basement and you've pre-staged a bunch of people to be local admins on the box already, or they somehow otherwise have acquired local admin rights. And you need to get out of this business. Now, I understand why you're in this business. Let's let's make sure we're, we got it straight. You're in this business because a local admin can do things like go into, say, Device Manager and do all the things in Device Manager. They can um, run applications. Sometimes you'll get a prompt, and then you just hit yes and sail right through it, which is great as an admin. And this isn't, isn't going to work as a standard user. And of course, if you're trying to install software as, a, as an admin, everything's going to work because, well, you're an admin, right? So, and you, you'll get a prompt here, but it'll still let, you, still let you go through, right? You can just click yes, and as an admin, you can say yes and install whatever thing you want. Now, how do we get out of the local admin business? The most important thing is to know the two places that you can get in the club. And let's just do that. So here we are in domain admins land. Let's just go ahead and boom and boom, remove these two people from, say, domain admins that don't need to be in there. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing we need to make sure is how do we get rid of the people that are in the computer management domain admins group here locally? Now, if you were to try this experiment yourself and go to local users and groups and go back to groups and click on administrators, look at what happens. You actually, all of a sudden, you see that the SIDs are being demonstrated instead. That's a little weird. It's because like it's trying to, it, it knows that there's like a disturbance in the force or something. So we've already removed the domain at them from the, a group that they're a member of right now. But the next thing we need to do is actually to literally go from machine to machine somehow. Hang on, we're gonna do this using policy in a minute and remove all the people from the groups. Does that make sense? We're taking, we're gonna get rid of all these people, but instead of you running around to your 200, 2000, or 20,000 machines, we're gonna use the power of group policy preferences, actually, this is not a policy pack thing, the power of group policy preferences, and deliver the signal to remove the unnecessary people. So let's, let's see who I have. I've got a guy called admin, that's just, I don't know who that guy is. We've got the local administrator, that's cool, and if you know uh, the internals of Windows, the local administrator is actually disabled by default uh, on Workstation. Um, I've got domain admins. That's cool. I want them there. I got this guy. His name is A. That's a that's a weird guy. I don't want him there. I don't want East Sales User 1, East Sales User 2, or East Sales User 3 here. You know, really, the only people I want is the domain admins group. I don't want any of these guys. I don't know who they are, what their story is. And even even administrator, well, okay, fine. Maybe I'll leave administrator here, although I don't. there's really no good point. Anyway, that's what we're going to do using group policy preferences and get get these guys gone. And you, you can pretend you've got 20,000 machines. That's totally fine. Uh, what I'll do first is I will log off here. I'll go ahead and sign out. And then what I'll do is I'm going to use the power of group policy preferences. I'll do this for all of my East Sales desktop machines. For instance, I will um, perform uh, user group assignment for admins. Okay, it doesn't matter what the name of it is. Okay, so here's my eSales desktops, and I'm gonna do this on the computer side. So on computer side, preferences, I'm gonna to go to the one that's called local users and groups. 
And again, this is built right in. You can do new, what's called local user here, actually. Actually, new, no local, new local group, that's the one I want. So the group name that I want is administrators, and it's kind of in the middle. Uh, if I can find it, authenticated users, administrators, there it is, right in the middle. Just, that's weird, I know that's where it is. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to delete all the member users and the groups. That nukes everybody out, but wait, I'm gonna add back in two key people. I'm gonna add in, and you gotta hit the three dots, domain admins. Okay, I'm gonna add those guys back in. And if I want to, I can also add in back the local administrator, admin, administrator, okay? You see what I'm doing here? I'm adding in the domain admins back and the local administrator. I didn't click the three dots because that's not that guy. This is the local guy. So I'm taking the built-in administrators group, nuking who's in there, and adding back in exactly who I want in there. That's it. That's all there is to do. So this is on the computer side, which means I'm going to go ahead and restart in order to make this happen. Okay, group policy will kick butt on a restart uh, for the computer side. Let me go ahead and uh, pause the video while this is restarting. Okay, here we come. Back up. Okay, here we are. We're ready to log on again. And let's see what we can see. So first thing is let's go ahead and go to a command prompt. We'll run... Uh, who am I slash groups. And we can see that this person is just a built-in user now. He's, whoops, sorry about that. He's not a domain admin. He's not a local admin. In fact, if we were to try to do some local admin-y things like right-click, command prompt, run as admin, oh, he can't do that anymore. If you were to go and go to, say, device manager, well, device manager says, I'd love to help you, but now you're a standard user. You, you need to be an admin in order to do these things or to run certain utilities like process monitor or install Skype, those kinds of things. You can't do that unless you have the proper rights. And now is where policy pack least privilege manager kicks in, right here, right now. So let's go back to our East sales users, people who are no longer running with the scissors all the time. And now's the time where we can do PPLPM um, elevate when needed. And I'm just going to just do two little ones. We have tons of videos. I just want to kind of finish the, the full end-to-end -end idea here. So we're going to go on the user side or the computer side if you wanted to. You can say on this computer you could do that. But I'm going to do this on the user side. For these East sales users that that had the rights and they don't anymore, we're going to use Least Privilege Manager. And the first thing I want to do is enable them to get into Device Manager. So let's right-click New Control Panel Applet Policy. And we're simply going to pick uh, the device manager, boom, right off the tree. Bing, bing, bing. So next, run with the elevated privileges. So let DM run now. Okay, I'm not running with the scissors all the time. I just want to let device manager run. And the other thing I want to do is say a new executable policy. And I want to let a very specific version of an application run, say um, a process monitor that didn't run 10 seconds ago. So if I look at share apps to manage and demos, there's my version of Procmon. I don't want an older version. I don't want a newer version. I want this version to run with elevated privileges. So everything is happening now in the user context, but it's but we're, we're elevating just the process. So this would be let Procmon run. There we go. So we're ready to go. We'll go over to our endpoint. Remember, this guy is still a standard user. Okay, we took away those rights using the inbox group policy preferences method. We stripped him of his admin right credentials. He doesn't need that anymore. He doesn't need to be running with the scissors all the time with all that entails and all that badness. If we close this out, 10 seconds ago, device manager prompted us. Now, boom, we sail right through into device manager. This process is running as an admin, but the rest of it is not. If we try to go to Procmon, this process is running as an admin. Others are not. So this video hopefully demonstrated exactly how to use the inbox stuff that you already have with group policy and group policy preferences to find and ferret out, strip exactly what you needed to, to see, to, uh, to see and dictate who was a local admin. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Let me go ahead and switch user and just let's go ahead and let me log on as a domain admin. Go ahead and switch user here. And then we can look at who is in fact 
in the local admins group. Let's see if we actually succeeded. I forgot to show that part. So let me go ahead and log on here as, as this guy. A is a domain admin in my world. It's just a little shorthand guy I have. Okay, now that we're logged on as A, let's go to computer management. And I just want to inspect the group membership. Let me go to local users and groups and groups and administrators and boom. So the policy that we created stripped all the people we didn't want out in one fell swoop and added them back in the people who we did want. We added in the local administrator, even though he has no access by default, and the domain admins um, because those people are important. And of course, you saw me earlier strip the membership of domain admins so that if this guy was happy to be a domain admin, he's not going to be an admin everywhere. So that's it. Hope that helps you out and that gets you to the, uh, well, to the goal with uh, Policy Pack Leach Privilege Manager. Thanks so much. To find out more about how Netrix Policy Pack can simplify modern desktop security and management, go to netrix.com slash netrixpolicypack.